systems. What are systems? And uh, I like to call it the map, right? So I'd love to hear, Mark, this is kind of your area of focus, but just let's let's talk about it. Yeah, so systems, I, if you don't have systems, and systems is just a series of things that happen either manually or automatically. I mean, there, there can be processes that you do manually, sending emails, uh, sending text messages, things like that, checklists of things that need to do, you need to do. These are all systems, but there's also automated systems. And one of the keys to you building a strong business is making sure that your automations are in place with your systems. And what does that really mean? Well, we can go through and we can create separate steps of things that need to happen. And once you set those up, they can be repeated over and over and over again. The advantage there is that you can scale your business where if you don't have those systems in place, otherwise you won't be able to scale. Scaling means we can do more things in less time, right? So um, it, it's really important that we we deal with that and and make sure that your systems are set up most of the um gurus out there the technology gurus they'll they'll tell you that how they are not technology the real estate gurus that use technology they mm -hmm. will tell you how um uh, how important using that technology was but they don't always share with you the things mm -hmm. that they, they they've done yeah. so um what we want to do is help share that, give you that secret of the gurus that are that are out there. And, you know, with with the experience that I've gotten uh, through the past three decades of of doing this, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot how real estate agents work. And uh, many times it's just a matter of tweaking some of the things that you're doing. You, you may already have a process. You just don't have it written down or you don't have it um in a in a repeatable process you know what up here but you you don't have the actual process for you so we want to take you through that and and go through that absolutely and i like to say you know time and time again this is actually one of my favorite things to do when i am meeting with agent friends i ask them just pretty point blank do you have any automated systems? It's like my favorite thing to do. Well, obviously we're systems focused individuals and most of the time they'll put their head down and kind of kick the can a little. And ultimately they admit, I don't have them, but I know I need them. And so then this gives me a really opportunity uh, to probe, why not? And it has come down to these two things and you kind of alluded to them, Mark, but it's time. They either don't have enough time in the day. They're too focused on serving client needs, driving from listing to listing, working with past clients. Now they have to do um, lead generation or maybe the systems that their broker provided or that they have access to simply cannot do this for them. So it's either time or technology. These are my two uh, guiding principles for what caused agents to fall behind? Well, NAR posted this stat a couple years ago, 2022, and uh, it's gut-wrenching to me. 90% of agents leave the industry in the first two years. And I think that that has a lot to do with them not building out these systems, adding automations to them and allowing themselves to go forward. And ultimately, the agents, these gurus, right? I I, um, I don't know that I consider many people a guru, but uh, you know, these are the agents who are building hundred plus transaction businesses, yeah. who are leaving work at three p.m. to go pick up their kids and spend the evening with their family, or who have made a personal declaration that they're going to have a minimum of two weeks of vacation. And their secret is systems. So that's exactly what we're going to share today. Now, Mark. You've been sharing this for the last 34 years. I've spent the last five years studying with, working side by side you. And it wasn't until 2022, at the very end, when OpenAI launched ChatGPT, you and I kind of peeked into it and realized there is something here for real estate agents. And maybe some of you guys were able to attend. We hosted several events trying to teach agents how to use AI 
initially. And all of these events were really fun. We had a lot of people come with a lot of energy and excitement, but then they would leave these events at what I call the glazed eye moment, right? Absolutely. And they just, they found themselves overwhelmed oftentimes because they have to learn how to write what are called prompts or these um, Google search questions into these systems. And sometimes that takes three to six months to learn how to do. And I found myself saying, you know, there has to be a better way. Well, entrepreneur by birth, I uh, said, you know, I could start writing these prompts for them and I will spend the rest of my life writing prompts. Yeah. And we, we actually created a, a little book. We did it's like a hundred and something pages of mm -hmm. just prompts that that real estate agents can use to you know create different types of content. And but maintaining that was it's it's a it's a bear. And the ultimate thing is like you can you can teach a, a polar bear to hunt, but you can't go fishing uh, in the cold, right? <laughs> um, so I realized that there had to be a better solution. That's where Sam came from, this 1.0 that some of you have looked at. Um, maybe you have followed me long enough to see a little bit. But essentially what it allowed real estate agents to do is generate resources that they could use in their system or in their business. And it uses AI without them having to learn how to use these LLM, large language models, the chat GPTs of the world. Well, and, and not have to have a a prompt engineering background mm -hmm. i mean yeah you know, so many of these prompts that we were creating were sophisticated mm -hmm. to say the least but technically challenging mm -hmm. and you know you had to go in there and really think about what you want how you wanted it and a lot of people were teaching um including us were teaching here here you know these are the basic questions if you're going to interview somebody mm -hmm. or talk to them and, and tell them what you need. If you've got an assistant that you need to tell them, this is what I want. You have to be very specific in some cases. Well, being so specific in a prompt is important, mm -hmm. but creating that, becoming the prompt engineer is what the glaze eyes is like, oh, wow, I got to do that. Mm. You know? Yeah. And that's where um, I was really impressed with, with what you came up with. The, Thank the, the you. 1.0. Yeah. And, um, you know, as as time moved on, I I started getting a lot of people coming in who were trying our system, who were turning into customers, and I kind of realized I need something that can handle all of my people. And this is where the idea of what I've called the communication matrix, um, using routines, which we'll talk about tomorrow, these actual AI systems that we're going to build, uh, was kind of born. Um, fast forward uh, to the, uh, the summer, um, you found yourself looking for new opportunities. And um, I know you've got your consulting gigs on the side that you work with uh, real estate agents and a couple of other businesses, but uh, I was able to kind of pitch uh, an opportunity to you. And ultimately that's where Sam 2.0 has come out. And uh, so this is the answer to having to work as an AI consultant or a prompt engineer. Um, and you see them all across the industry, these people who are building automations for businesses using AI, charging tens of thousands of dollars wow, often big bucks and then they hold the keys to the kingdom well sam 2.0 is going to do all that for you but it's yours and so you are going to have not only a crm that is built in this decade and is going to have the power of ai but you're able to use this system and at every single step we've gone through and we've made sure it's intuitive and we made sure that it's easy for you guys to use